Okay, so this time, uh, let's try to solve uh, the, the D10, D30, and D60 using a calculator technique. So this technique work will work only if your calculator is has if if your calculator has a statistics mode. So in this uh, video, I am using an Android based uh, scientific calculator. Ito siya free scientific calculator plus advanced 991 calculator so you can download this one for free in the google play pero meron din siyang paid na version i think mura lang siya na sa mga 100 pesos lang yata so you can uh, consider purchasing this one okay so to compute for d10 d30 and d60 let's go to the scientific calculator Okay, so andito na tayo sa ating scientific calculator. I'm just uh, using an emulator para mapakita ko lang sa inyo how to use that technique. So, you, you first we have to go to mode and then find the statistics mode of your calculator. So, andito siya, stat or distribution calculations. And then, doon sa stat mode, hanapin nyo rin yung option na A plus B ln of X. Okay? So, ito siya. And then, uh, after that one, the calculator will ask you to input the value of X and Y. So, in 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 the... Ano ba ang input natin dito? So, let's go back to the particle size analysis na tabular solution. If we want to solve for D10, so syempre hanapin natin yung 10% finer. And that 10% finer lies between 20.36 and 6.93. So ibig sabihin, itong data na to ang i-input natin. Ito siya. So lagyan ko na lang ng yellow. Yan. So for X, we have a sieve opening na 0.15 and 0.075 and for Y, we have 20.36 and 6.93. So let's input that one in our calculator. So ang X natin is 0 0.15 and uh, ano nga yun? 0 0.075. And then, sa y naman natin, ang, uh, ang isang value is 20.36. And yung isang value is 6.93. Okay? Then, after ma-input yung uh, dalawang data points, next thing that we will do is to... Um, find the other options for the statistics mode. So, in this calculator, andito siya sa shift 1. So, let's press shift and then 1. And then, sa stat mode options, hanapin nyo yung uh, regression. Okay, itong nasa pinaka right. Okay. Regression. Under regression, hanapin nyo yung uh, x hat or estimated values na x hat. Okay, so x hat. Okay. Tapos, uh, delete muna natin yan siya. Uh, delete. Tapos, let's insert to the left of x hat a number 10. Ibig sabihin, we are looking for the value of x corresponding to a value of y equal to 10. Okay, so let's key in 10. So then after that, press equals or automatic na siya, lalabas na x is approximately equal to 0 0.08788. So we now have d10 equal to 0 0.088. Okay, how about for d30? So, sa D30 naman, ang hahanapin natin is yung diameter corresponding to 30% finer. So, this time, saan ba yung 30% finer? In between siya ng 41.6 and 20.36. So, let me just uh, remove the color yellow. So, 
to find D30, ang input natin this time is itong dalawang data points na yan. Itong 41 points, uh, 0.25 comma 41.6 and 0.15 comma 20.36. Okay, so let's go back to the calculator. So press AC and then shift 1 to uh, input another set of data so go to data and then inputting data with statistics editor so i-delete lang natin yan siya lahat actually pwede na siya hindi i-delete lahat okay uh, you just input the um, the new set of data okay so so ang x natin will be 0.25 0 0.25 and then press equals then your another value of x will be 0 0.15 equals then so y naman is um, 41.6 oops Forty-one point six equals, and the other one is twenty point thirty-six equals. Okay, so same pa rin ang approach na ginawa natin sa D10. Let's press Shift one, and then hanapin natin yung regression, and then X hat under regression. Uh, hanapin ang X hat. Okay, and then to the right of x hat, let's edit that one to uh, 30. So the value of uh, the diameter corresponding to 30% finer is equal to 0 0.1891 or 0 0.19. Okay, so d30 is 0 0.19. So we'll just uh, know, expressing the d10, d30, d60 to two significant figures lang okay and then lastly for d60 ang d60 is somewhere between 61.4 and 41.6 so again let me just uh, remove the yellow fill so ito na naman ang hahanapin natin yan siya okay so in your calculator let's press ac then shift one and then go to data edit the data so ang x value will be 0.425 and uh, 0.25 tapos yung y value is 61.4 oops delete muna natin Then, yung other one is uh, 41.6. Oops, nawala lahat. So, input na lang natin ulit. Sorry. Point 0.425 equals 0 0.25 equals then sa so y 61.4 equals and 41.6 equals and then shift 1 go to regression and x hat then to the left of x hat let's input 60 so 60 x hat is 0 0.4093 or 41 and that's it so that's how you compute for d10 d30 and d60 using a calculator with a statistics mode so next let us verify kung tama ba yung nakuha natin sa ating calculator technique ang d10 is 0 0.088 so let's check ang, ang d10 or ang 10% finer is in between ng 0 and 20 so uh, approximately and dito yung 
D10. And D10 is more or less malapit sa value ng 0.1. So, ang na-compute natin na D10 sa calculator technique is 0.088. So, okay yung value. Yung D30 is 0.19 sa calculator technique. Sa chart naman natin, yung 30% is andito sa gitna ng 20 and 40. So, andito yun siya. So, more or less nasa 0.2 na line. So, ang nakuha natin is 0.19. And lastly, yung D60 is equal to 0.41. <clears throat> and then sa chart natin or sa graph natin ang 60 is andito so uh, na malapit siya sa 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4 ang nakuha natin is 0.41 hence we can tell or we can say that yung nakuha natin ng mga D10, D30, and D60 which are the parameters for the uniformity coefficient and coefficient of gradation is good enough. Okay? So, we can now proceed with the computation of C sub U, C sub C, and D10 is actually equal to 0.088. Thank you!